is going on everybody welcome back to the channel um, sorry it's been a while since I've posted anything um, basically what happened is my uh, the daily got broken into and they got away with a bunch of my camera gear but that's alright we're still rolling with it um, I know it's been a while since I posted anything about the MR2 um, so last time what ended up happening is it you know we saw the first drive it was a ripper it was doing good um, it has a little issue though um, it's leaking oil pretty good on the uh, on the oil pan. Um, actually, it's on the girdle. So what it is actually, it's I'll insert a picture now. Okay, so you guys can see that on the rear main housing, it's uh, it's broken in two locations. Um, so obviously, you're you're driving a steel bolt into an aluminum housing, and it cracked. So. I have to change the uh, the rear main housing out. This is a spare one that I had off of another uh, 4A block, um, and it's gonna work because it's an A-series block. Um, so I have to take the trans out, I have to do all this other extra work, um, take the clutch out, take the flywheel out, take all that shit off to replace this. And then once I do that, I reseal everything, and we should be good to go, but it's just gonna be a lot of work, and I only have one camera battery, so I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. Alrighty, so quick update. Um, everything's pretty much disconnected. The only thing left, I got, I got the speedo cable. Um, I've got the clutch slave cylinder out. Um, I've got all the bolts that connect the trans to the block out, starters out, axle, um, driver side axle anyway. I took it out. I left the other one in. It's just hanging on the ground but it is off the trans now. My brother was kind enough to bring the um, engine hoist over, so I'm going to use that to support the trans up, and all I have left now is just going to be the, um, the mounts, and then this body mount right here, and then it should be able to want to slide out, so. Alrighty, so I got the oil pan off, the girdle, and the rear main off, and just to give you guys the the damage report here this is what happened so you can see on this rear main housing it's missing a piece of the housing there it's missing a piece of the housing there so whenever the engine was running and full of pressure all the oil was escaping through this broken section so it was just pissing oil at the back so I took a spare housing that I had off of another block and this one's good So now it's going to be a lot of cleaning, prepping surfaces, um, taking out the razor blade and just trying to get all the, the gasket maker off of the oil pan. And then these things, I also got a new seal that I have to put in uh, along with the new gasket that mates to the block. But I'm also going to be trying um, Permatex The Right Stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna be using uh, Permatex The Right Stuff for this, just cause I'm tired of dealing with leaks on cars. Um, so it's, this is the one minute gasket basically You uh, just put the continuous bead just like any other RTV assemble the parts within five minutes um, And then the vehicle can immediately be returned to service, but yeah, the uh, the trans is out The trans is out um, I got the hoist on here just holding the engine up because it's only from um, That engine mount Every all the other mounts go to the trans so those are off um but yeah, now it's just going to be a lot of cleaning, a lot of the tedious bullshit you got to do. I'm um, just getting rid of the old RTV, but we'll just keep trucking along. Okay, so I forget what the last update I did was, but the transmission has been out. Um, the oil pan and the upper girdle has been resealed with Permatex right stuff. I don't know if you guys remember whenever we took the engine out of the MR2. I told you guys that this, um, this ear on the transmission was broken. So yesterday I went and got it welded up. As you can see, she's back to one piece. I just drilled and tapped this hole again and I put a, a bolt in it and it works great. So now it's just time to put, I'm gonna clean this off. I'm actually going to change the, the fluid in the transmission while it's already out. And then I'll put the flywheel on, the clutch on, and then we'll just put it all back together. The goal is to have it running and driving today before I leave. All right, I have absolutely been busting ass today on this thing. Um, the transmission's back in, obviously clutch and flywheel are back on. Starter's back on. 
Um, everything else is bolted up, axles back in. Now is the time to put oil in it and then put a battery in it from the daily and start it and hopefully, God, I hope not. I hope nothing leaks. I've done everything right. I've prepped all the surfaces. I used, quote unquote, the right stuff. Man, I'm exhausted. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Test start. Either I have a weak battery, which I don't know how it could be since it's been in my daily car, uh, or the starter isn't clicking. So I'm going to try tapping the starter with a hammer or something, and hopefully it turns over. All right, last night, got starting issues figured out. It turned out to be the starter power wire that was grounding out on itself, and it was causing uh, some starting issues. Got that taped up, put back together, got the car started. Uh, it was running a little rough. I tried timing it while well, it had like 10 minutes of runtime on it. Um, and the engine was kind of warm, right? So I got under it, and it turned out to be leaking again. For the third time for this thing to be leaking. Shut the hell up, you stupid chicken. <laughs> so it's leaking again, unfortunately. This thing just keeps kicking my ass. It's really annoying. It sucks because I've, like, I've put so much work and effort into it, and it just gives me the, a big middle finger every time. So I'm annoyed with this thing. I'm done with it for now. I'm going to go back home, um, and the next time I come down work on it again and figure it out and hopefully then work on it again and figure it out and hopefully it'll be done uh thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate everyone who tunes in to watch these videos i know it takes me a while to make them um and mainly they're on the mr2 but there's some corolla content coming anyway be sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time